before I introduce the next performer, I was clipping coupons, you know, as a housewife. <laughs> and I found this one that I just can't use because I never spend $100 at Cub. Oh, uh, $10 off, anybody want it? Woo! <laughs> Come on up here and get it. Responsible woman. Thank you. You're welcome. He's a hip hop mystic cryptic critic clever cynic with a voice like rhythm and magic words you ain't ever heard. Let's pay attention to call. Jackson. Thank you. All right, so brought four pieces. Yeah, this stuff's on paper. I usually have more time to learn stuff, but you know, I wrote new shit and I want to share it. Like today. There's one poem I do wrote today, like an hour, a few hours ago. You're gonna hear it for the first time. Fresh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, technically they're all fresh. You haven't heard them, but you know this is like literally fresh for everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this one in particular. Oh, this is a, only read this once. So, yeah. Anybody know of a guy named Jimi Hendrix? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you hear a little bit about him. Do not ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive. For what the world needs is people who have come alive. Howard Thurman. I'm calling for the second coming of Jimmy Christ. I see him. He is standing on the tip of Neptune, pissed off that he left his wah-wah pedal on Uranus, still marveling at his new body. Sun-tinged plasma over asteroid bones and tongues of gamma rays. This is the Jimmy lost between the myths and legends of a fucked up man who couldn't help hearing the sonic musings of God. A spaceman with brown skin, he knew he didn't live here. He came with a gift wrapped in rock riffs born out of the blues. He knew the blues, knew how they came from the same womb as gospel and merged holy water with delta dirt. He submerged himself underneath that baptismal dirt and arose a mud god, howling epitaphs through his fingers like the resurrection was tomorrow and he had a lot more sinning to do. His voice rang of stone freedom, but that voice was just the echo, the harmony for his Stratocaster throat, propelling electric sermons through a bass amp at full blast. You look at him now as a guitar god. The cool cat will show it another way to be black, to be rock, to live in darkness, because it's easier to see the light there. And that's all right. But then he becomes history, a relic. And frankly, we need him now. So I'm calling for the second coming of Jimmy Christ. But similar to the other second comings we're anticipating, it won't be Jimmy rising from his grave. It'll be us rising from ours. It'll be neoconservatives discovering the liberation of living on the edge, loosening their ties, running barefoot through a storm, and feeling stone free to do it how I please. Stone free to ride the breeze of stone drug hippies, known as more to rebellion than veganism and escape routes of hip hop artists spitting 16 bars of manic depression, setting fires of Vulnerability so thick the smoke brings us to our knees of every soldier overseas hearing his star-spangled banner and realizing their faith was robbed, their trust abused, their blood being shed for nothing, and I'll come back home banging on Uncle Sam's door and demand some fucking answers because we can't lie down and take this. My people are still twisting in shackles and we forgot our spirituals, our lust for life, lost in static nine to five rituals. But Jimmy told me a story yesterday. About the sweet love between the moon and the deep blue sea. And he spread his wings high over me. And they got an image of a bold axis arising from our chests. I was flooded with images of truckers in Iowa walking with new funky swagger. A black boy in New Orleans going back to school to be a voodoo child, standing next to mountains of grief and chopping them down with the edge of his hand. Of America plugging its soul into the nearest amp and taking us to the electric church, singing so loud, lightning blazes through the Mississippi River all the way to the Statue of Liberty. And that statue opens her eyes wide, takes her first breath, drops that book, and morphs her torch into a guitar, wailing in there. 
bottom, eyes rolling back like sun house, hollering with the ecstasy and holy water and Delta dirt, blasting cords that light the world till Jimmy can't help but look, take his teeth off his fire-bathed guitar and drop tears of Jupiter as he whispered, <laughs>